So what I'm actually doing now is I'm actually going to um, whisk some egg whites because I'm making the chocolate mousse, but you can actually use this process for making meringues as well. The idea is that we're going to whisk it until we have peaks. So peaks are when um, the egg whites actually start to form um, a bit of a structure. So it become, they become white and they become almost solid looking. Now there is a massive danger when you are doing this sort of activity that you over whisk them. And what happens is that the structure starts to break down and they start to become watery. So it's really important that you do this properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this hand whisk. I'm gonna tip my bowl up to the side and I'm going to start beating my egg. So you can see, granulated sugar. The reason being is that caster sugar is really finely ground. If we use um, granulated sugar, what is going to happen is it's going to affect the structure of our mousse and we do not want um, our structure to collapse because we'll end up with a chocolate sauce rather than a chocolate mousse. So I've just added it in and now I'm going to whisk it, but I'm going to whisk it this time with a bowl flat until I have stiff peaks. the peaks will stand on their own. So these are still quite soft, so it needs about another, probably about another 30 seconds worth of water. We're looking for so we have stiff peaks that actually um, stand up on their own um, this is probably not as good as you could actually get it and that's probably because the eggs aren't um, the freshest of eggs if you're doing um, a chocolate mousse at home I would highly recommend getting free range and organic and making sure that they are absolutely a hundred percent fresh because um, it will affect the structure of your mousse but this will work 